come from other countries and can wreak havoc in our forests. These hitchhikers stow away in woodpacking materials and firewood, causing ecologic, economic, and societal harm. Without the checks and balances found on their home turf, they reproduce like rabbits. They are invasive insects. Invasive insects, like the emerald ash borer and the Asian longhorn beetle, hail from Asia and hitch a ride to the United States in wood crates. Once here, they can move to new locations via firewood, contaminated nursery stock, lumber, and other wood products. Emerald ash borer attacks ash species including white, green, and black. Host species for the Asian longhorned beetle include a variety of hardwoods, such as maple, elm, willow, and birch. They cause the most damage to trees during their larval stage by eating tissues under the bark, cutting off the tree's water and nutrient transportation systems. With the large enough infestation, this girdling eventually kills the tree. So these two tree cookies are uh, maple tree cookies, and this is damage um, from the Asian longhorn beetle. Um, typically, they uh, they will have an oviposition site on the on the bark, where the female will lay her eggs, and when it hatches, the early instar of the larva will feed just below the bark in the cambial tissue, and as it gets larger, it moves towards the sapwood on the inside, and it, and it forms these tunnels. Um, so the actual larva can physically um, cut off transport of the nutrients for the tree. Um, usually it's a gradual thing and, and the tree will, will uh, show signs of stress at some point and eventually will die. Invasive insect forest surveys are a great way to inventory your trees for signs and symptoms of invasive insects. It's good to gather baseline data um, of our trees and in our forests of, of the status uh, to see whether these pests are present or not. Uh, we do have tools for surveying. Uh, we have traps for the emerald ash borer and, and the Asian longhorn beetle. Um, but um, they're not 100% effective and um, visual survey with binoculars or um, one practical even um, Climbing a tree to get a, to look at the treetop, uh, or with a, a bucket truck, um, is is also a very effective tool in, in our arsenal against monitoring for these pests. Learn a few key clues, lace up your boots, grab a pair of binoculars, and take a hike. Woodpecker damage is a great initial clue to an insect problem. Look for blonding or light spots on trees where bark has been pecked away. Hunt for exit holes that adult invasive beetles leave behind after chewing their way out through the bark. Asian longhorned beetles make round exit holes that are deep enough to stick a pencil in, while emerald ash borers chew small, D-shaped exit holes. Another sign to be on the lookout for is frass, or wood shaving-like excrement produced by larvae. Asian longhorned beetle frass is often found at the base of or in the crotch of an infested tree, while emerald ash borer frass is piled inside galleries under the bark. Crown dieback is also a sign that a tree may be infested. By taking a walk in the woods, you can look for these signs and symptoms of invasive insects. If you notice something suspicious, contact the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service or the Hamilton County Soil and Water Conservation District. Thank <laughs> you.